Hi, I'm Catello, I'm a 3D designer from Italy, and in this tutorial I will show you how and why to use transition animations from that studio, how to export LMB files, and how to manage these animations for fabric simulation in Marvelous Designer. Let's get started. So, here we are inside of that studio. We are ready to load our Genesis 8 basic male figure. And in order to work uh, with Marvelous Designer, we need an animation that goes from a T-pose to our final pose. A T-pose is basically something that looks like this. Really, really, really simple. And it's called a T-pose because, you know, its shape is like a T. Then we need to figure it out how we want to pose our character and make an animation that goes from this first frame, frame zero, standing in a T-pose, to our last frame, that will be our final pose. I usually go with 16 frames for this kind of animation. Then we can move to our last frame, frame 59. And at this point we can pose the character as we want. And we will have an animation that goes from a T-pose to our final pose and this will help us guiding the simulation in Marvelous Designer after. Now I have a pre-made pose that I saved as a preset. So I'll make sure that I have my whole figure selected and I'm selecting my final pose. You can save your pose as preset by doing this. Let's say we want this pose with the arm like this to be saved for whatever reason as a preset. So we click and make sure we have the whole figure selected. Then go file, save as, pose preset and give it a name. Pose test 01. Now we can choose to save only this final frame or the whole range of animation as a preset. So if we revert to the previous animation, we can see that we can load at the middle, right at the middle of our sequence, we can load this pose as preset and it will be this not so nice transition. Let's get back to our main topic. And at this stage, we are pretty much ready to go for, for exporting this animation and importing that into Marvelous Designer. But there are three main ways we can export this out of DAS and work with Marvelous Designer. There's a, an FBX file animation there's a Collada file animation, and there's an Alembic file. All these three will work good for our purpose. I usually go with Alembic because Alembic gives me the more detailed mesh and it's the closest to what we, we see here in the DATS preview. If not, a complete one-on-one representation of what we are seeing here. And that's basically a container of, uh, of multiple OBJs, one for each frame. So the best way you can export this from dust, but also the most heavy in terms of performance. And also in order to export anything in Alembics from that, you need to buy the Alembic exporter for that studio plugin that it's not cheap, but it's like 99% uh, of the time on sale from the official dot store. Now we are ready to export our animation. These are my settings. And we are ready to move to Marvelous Designer. Here we are inside of Marvelous Designer. So we are ready to load our Alembic file. And we can see if we move to the 
an emission tab that except for the first frame that is showing us the last one starting from frame zero one the animation it's actually working so we are ready to design some garments and then we can move forward to do the actual simulation i can import now some pre-made garments and i could have designed this with the default typos from that with the arms looking like this but there's some situation where you want to work with uh, typos with the straight arms like this uh, in order to reach tight spot like the underarm here so i prefer to work in with this kind of typos then we can move to the animation tab again and we are basically going to simulate from this pose to our actual last frame in order to export it and work in Cinema 4D or whatever program. I usually set my simulation quality to normal. It's not uh, slow as the animation stable one but sometimes if the animation is too quick and there's some and there's a lot of movement going on you better want to stick with the stable one let's try this one first okay perfect we can now move back to the simulation tab to run our simulation again, just to make sure that everything is good and ready to be exported. I'm letting this run for a couple of seconds more, just to make sure that all the garments are being laid down by the gravity and our file is finally ready to be exported let me show you another example and this is quite explanatory of why t poses are important because it will be really hard otherwise to work on a final pose like this for actually designing and simulate on top of this character's figure a complex or even a, a simple dress like this. Let's move to frame one. Activate again the visibility for our garment. And we can move back to the animation tab to run this simulation animation. It's looking pretty good but here we can see that that's why we need a couple of seconds more to let the simulation run again to make sure that everything it's laid down properly so let's run the simulation and we are actually looking at the garment being pulled down by the gravity in a natural way and this could have been calculated a bit more precisely if uh, we have used the stable setting in the animation tab 
but most of the time it's pretty quick to do this way and much more easier. And this is how things looks when the simulation is done. And this is it for now. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. In the next one, I'll show you how I manage my UVs inside of Marvelous Designer and how to export your garments and avatar to Cinema 4D and Octane. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and stay tuned for new videos. I'll see you in the next one.